Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 with our lens. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So we had a little bit of a rebellion problem. But that should be getting sorted out now. Um, take a quick uh, gander. Yeah, I mean, there's a handful of guys here, but that should get cleaned up sooner rather than later. I was also checking, you know, see what rebels else that like, could rise up. Right now, the biggest threat is actually either the militant socialist or the, the communist. I don't even know what the militant socialist wants because they get like 70% in the elections and they have complete government control. Like what else what else do you want from me? It might be all the people in Africa that are a little bit upset they got colonized, which I can understand. But also, uh, we're just gonna shoot you. That's just how that's just how it is. We'll close all of this up. And our naval base is gonna be ready soon. When are you gonna be finished? June 1st. Okay, so we still got about a year and a half of tech left until we get to the uh, next level of research. Would be nice. Germany is number two in military. Britain's number one. We're allied to the third most powerful army. Yeah, again, I have so much money, we can easily afford to do that. And honestly, probably upgrade forts in the entire country right now. Because you're not at war. I would still just like an alliance with you. Because Germany, you're completely politically isolated. Like, I don't even know if anybody likes you. Nobody likes you except for me, Germany. So, you should accept my alliance offer. I don't know what else you could possibly want. I guess you guys just stay down here. We are getting navy build times going down, even without getting these uh, upgrades here, which I think is pretty good. Probably want the railroad upgrade. It lost in 1898, which is a weird year for to uh, get unlocked in. I'm sure there's probably some reason behind that. I just don't know what that reason is. Austro-Hungary. Still here? Zanzibar. Just don't worry about that too much. And the rebellions have been put down. Crises are still probably most likely to happen in Austro-Hungary. Um, usually they happen in um, around in Greece as well. Get the rail system, which will be done in July of next year. And it's got me wondering. Um... Will we have time to research anything in the meantime? Like, in, would anything take six months to research? Like, your Navy attack going up. And it's 4,000 points. We're making 43 a day. So it would take about 100 days. So we could actually probably get fire control system finished. Organization. Also organization. Can I see where your Navy tech is? 16 out of 30. Like, that's saying we're still 12 out of 30, even though we haven't been focusing on it at all. And I would imagine they've been focusing on the two first ones. I mean, I say that because a human player would do that, but as an AI, a little bit more iffy. That's more unemployment subsidies. Even though, like, there's really no unemployment in the country. Like, we're only playing 77 ducats. Or 77 pounds. And, um... Every, country, every factory in the country can actually be uh, upgraded right now, which is nice. Like, we probably should be... Let's get some oil refineries going, because we're probably going to want some of those. We still don't have television quite yet. Let's see, what are we What are we naturally producing? A little bit of artillery, a little bit of rifles, decent amount of ammunition. No tanks, no aircraft, those aren't unlocked yet. We're not making glass. Not that that's the most important thing in the world. Making 20 oil. Which is actually pretty good. Uh, we're not making a lot of fuel. Who is Who has fuel right now? Germany at 19. Like, who has oil as well? We're the second bigger, biggest producer of oil, which actually should mean our fuel refineries are going to be going very well. Because oils were 14. Fuels were 26. Telephones would be nice. Luxury furniture also, for some reason, spells for, like, a lot. So, you know what? Some of these, like, smaller areas, let's go for... Yeah, just some luxury clothes. Why not? Dutch to more. 
Not you. This textile mill in that's like that's what's indies. How many people even live there? One point three thousand, yeah. The factory there is basically as good as it's ever gonna get. Cause yeah, you just need fuel. You didn't you didn't need oil to build, is that what I'm looking at properly? No, you just need machine parts. Like I know we need so many. And we're only producing uh seven. Almost eight. Which really is not ideal. What else could we actually Yeah, we can pay fifty thousand dollars. I don't even know who you're at war with. I'm gonna take a guess that's probably something that we wanna be at war uh not at war with, but something that we wanna kind of limit the power of. How many sawmills do we have in our country that we're making 614 wood? Like, it is one of our biggest exports. Even then, we're actually not making that much. So, we should be fine. Who do I even get military access to? It's you, who's at war with the Ottomans, who's feared by the, the, by the Austrians. So, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. Get some generous subsidies. You know what? Let's go for some acceptable pensions. It's going to cost us a lot more in terms of uh, our cost. I mean, for it's actually our biggest expenditure right now is just funding all the old people in the country. But that's fine. I'm not too sure what this actually accomplishes for us, to be quite honest with you. Maybe it lowers, lowers like militancy or something like that. And you're all still kind of not able to do anything against people that we want so i mean again having el salvador in our sphere doesn't accomplish anything america wants an alliance again as much as i would like to have it with germany apparently they just have no they just don't like us enough i don't know what i've done against them to bring them to this conclusion like i've helped them take over two provinces from france Yeah, tensions down here, which is not a huge surprise. What tensions are here? For Cilicia? I don't think I've ever seen them pop up before. But our craftsmen are looking good. Keep expanding whatever we can. Yeah, and let's get fire control system. The colonial prestige is meaningless. We're getting, like, two extra points of attack. I mean... What's two extra points of attack on a ship that does, you know, 32? Unless it goes up more. You get specific points for Dreadnoughts. Battleship attack. Some defenses. I mean, I guess this could be valuable, making our navies last a little bit longer in battle. We have 46 ships right now. We still cannot get a hold on any telephones. All of our steam frigates are done. But all of our uh, battleships still nowhere really to be seen, unfortunately. I mean, I do like having fleets just kind of around. Not that, again, not that they can really accomplish too, too much. Also, you know what? We want these guys together. The British around here is a little bit frightening. Like, again, we're kind of okay losing territory in Africa. Yeah, we're just going to give our points until uh, the new millennium. So that we can upgrade. Yep, just no, no telephones whatsoever. Even though Germany's making 147, we just cannot get our hands on them. Which is incredible. Like, I know, they're worth a lot. They're in high demand. I mean, weapons are in high demand as well. We're buying up stockpiles of all this stuff. Is anybody making aircraft yet? Apparently, yes. What about tanks? No, because they need to pop up here. How do you get... We want gas attack ability and defense. For sure. But it's... Wait, how, like, how do you... Is it a combustion engine? Yes, okay. So we could have been building aircraft at this point. 
We'll get anti-rationalism, which will be done in June of next year. As soon as that's done, we're going to go straight across the board for military upgrades. So this is going to be extremely important. Do not put all your troops on my border, Germany. Like, we're friends. I know you might want, like, Luxembourg or something. But I'd recommend you don't do that. What are you? The first of the poll. Yes. All the expeditions in the world, please and thank you. Yes, some of you guys are expanding. Upgrade you to level 4 as well. You're 5'9". You actually need more infantry. So you know what? Let's just have like one massive stack of 63. We did lose El Salvador, but again, like, who cares in the slightest? The answer is not me, because it made no difference whatsoever to what we were trying to do. Like, Germany loves us. They just really... D I mean, there are too many alliances I can understand rally to Russia and the United States. And not that the United States is actually meaningful in any way. Apparently, the French take over Rio Grande. And I don't even know how they accomplished that. Because I think you, I would have backed to Mexico trying to take the territory, but... I guess not. Let's get generous subsidies, because we're not paying that much in subsidies anyway. And it does kind of reduce uh, militancy a little bit. Of course, we will attend for a little bit more prestige. Like, we are third in prestige right now. Only behind the French and the Germans. Are you not in the... Why are you not in the, um, the, the British fear anymore? Not that that really matters too much. It does show that Germany... Or not Germany, that uh, Britain is kind of losing a little bit of uh, grip. But not that much. Especially considering, again, all of this is insane. Can I do anything to, um... You can only do flashpoints if it's for your core. So I can't, like, incite rebellion in a different province, unfortunately. Even though I'd really like to kind of... Like, if I can get Hungary to break away from Austro-Hungary... Like, that would be nice. But unfortunately, I don't think, uh... Necessarily going to play out that way. Yeah, your flashpoint tension is decreasing. You were decreasing as well. It's definitely unfortunate, because I, I don't really know what's going to be the flashpoint for the First World War. Because there's, there's a lot of places that it could be. And I kind of wonder if it's just going to be kind of a, um... Generic... War. Over something. Like, we somebody attacks... I don't know, let's say Switzerland. They take over Switzerland, and that's kind of the... The first point of conflict. Maybe that's what happens. I don't know. Let's get good pensions. It does almost bankrupt the country. Because we're paying about $5,000 in it. Um, how, how do we have that many old people in the country? What's wrong with us? Let's get military direction. Because again, gas attack is insane. You absolutely, 100% need gas attack. Because if you don't have gas attack, you're screwed. It's like a plus three to dice modifiers. You also need gas def uh, attack defense. It's a country that war. Plus one percent if any neighboring country has gas attack. That's better because I think when the, I remember originally, you can only get gas defense if you were at war with somebody else who had gas defense, or gas uh, attack, I should say. Which essentially meant. That the only way to get gas defense was to get gassed yourself. Which typically wasn't the best, you know. Like, it sucked. Because no matter what, you'd be taking massive, massive penalties to your army. Can't really do too much here. We have... Yeah, okay, no. We have, we have the amount of fleets that I think we should have. You guys are looking good. 
So again, the Steam Steamers are about as good as we can have outside of Europe. The Belgian Nationalist. You're really rising up with nine divisions. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm, why did it take you so long to rise up? I actually don't know. Like, even the Communists have risen up quite yet. And they're, they're significantly stronger than the Belgian Nationalist. Yes, of course, we want to keep uh, gaining some prestige. All I see is a massive German army on our border. In the Dutch West Indies? Dutch West Indies don't matter. There's only like 4,000 people. There's not, no, there's not even 4, there's like 1,000 people there. What's happening over there does not make any difference whatsoever to uh, what's happening in, in the country as a whole. Again, we're going to look at people who we maybe sphere. I mean, you guys are fighting each other. Let's try to throw some, let's just throw away a little bit into Egypt. Um, just as we have telephones. Fantastic. Okay. I don't know how much that's going to push us over the uh, limit. Those battleships are 50. These are actually 200 by themselves. And you were three. You were also three. Battleships are just so much more expensive than everything else. No, cruiser are 20. We might need to get rid of like two cruisers. Or significantly more steam... Uh, steam... Steam frigates? Yeah, steam frigates. They're not the steam steamers, which I think I've, I've been constantly calling them. I don't know why. I mean, it, it, got, it rhymes, I guess. You guys want some universal healthcare? I'll give you healthcare whenever I get the opportunity to do so. I'm gonna immediately go up to Cordial with you. Which is nice. And I have the amount of money where I could just build the Suez Canal. We're gonna try that first. We can actually make Dutch Guiana into a state. Okay, is this a Spanish-American war? We got the Boer War and the American War of Cuban Freedom. So yeah, you guys are fighting each other now. You're fighting Transvaal. And that's okay. So we're... How much were the Ironclads? They're also only worth three. So let's put us at 73. It sucks that I got rid of these two shifts because I did just pay for them. Wait, no, no, no. Monitors are... No, cruisers are worth 20. You're all worth the same. So we're going to get rid of the steam steamers in other places. I was reading it wrong. I apologize. Let's... I guess what I mean it sucks we gotta scuttle these. It's this is gonna get rid of 60 points. Which we don't have to do. You bring us down to so we need to get rid of 10 more. Or no, not 10. We need to get rid of four more of these guys. I know we did pay good money for them, but again, we have so much money we can just burn it. That puts us one point under. And you're slowly expanding to level five naval bases. We probably do want to upgrade naval bases just so we can get more capacity. So that we can start building better and better ships. Because this is almost entirely made up of... Uh, I mean, Steam Frigates are with 96, but most of it is just taken up by the battleships. We get military directionism, which is good. Let's go for infiltration so we can upgrade our forts. I, know, I never really upgrade the forts, but I guess, you know, playing as a smaller country has kind of changed my... Um, my viewpoint on this, I guess you could say. Let's get a naval base here. Upgrade the base there. Like, how, I don't even know how much these actually give us. It just says 446. There's no actual breakdown on where those numbers come from, unfortunately. So upgrade the naval bases. And it would be nice if there was a bun to do this. And it is expensive to upgrade, for sure. 
that's completely okay. Okay, we have a naval base in this area. Naval base here. And how long did they actually take to build? I think it's about a year, right? What does it actually say? Because it's considered building construction. Um, the one in Amsterdam is going to be done in a few days. It's like three years. Wow. Okay, that's significantly longer than I thought. We can now use gas attack, which again is a major, major boost to us. I think we're fine for now on you. The gas attack. It's really good. Why are you trying to attack Transvaal? They're about to get annexed by the British anyway, so I'm not too sure what your plan there is. Of course, we're going to support... Uh, not residency, because only 0.6% of the population even supports that, so... No reason to make everybody else in the country mad at us. Where are you? You're just in Morocco. I can't leave you out there, so... You're fine where you are. Are the Americans going to lose this war? I mean, they are actually losing right now. The French want reparations. You guys are losing more of the vote every single time. Unless it now only has one party. Yeah, so the other socialist parties uh, disbanded. We still got two communist parties. And I'm still, I'm like, I'm not worried about us not having enough votes to form government. Especially since we are technically a... Uh, a constitutional monarchy. We can just change the government whenever we feel like it. But I also think this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everyone for watching. My name is If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoying it, always thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.